What's up everyone and we're finally here in the Maldives after 18 hours of traveling. We had like two connection flights, a two and a half hour boat ride. It was like a speedboat was super hard and we crashed around and fell around. It was hard on our butts. It was hard on our butts, yes. So we're here, we're finally on the flat. It's our first place we're gonna fish and we're super stoked. So let's see what we can catch. finally arrived after an 18 hour long flight we had two connections and then from the airport we got a two and a half hour boat ride that was one of the most bumpiest rides I've ever had I became like nauseous and I think my kidneys are literally shattered we got up early this morning had some breakfast right along the beach got all our stuff ready and then we had a great boat ride across to this deserted island all of us got off and now we're ready to fish so what we're doing is we are setting up this eight weight with a small crab and then our 12 weight is set up with a hundred pound leader straight leader and just a big semper in case we see giant trevally that's basically it but that's our main target so one thing to talk about it though it's another thing to execute <laughs> That's why, that's why I'm not giving you the rod. So 
So what we're doing now is we're just walking around this reef all along the edge. So there's an outer part of it and an in, inner part of it. So it forms like a little lagoon on the inside. So I'm walking on the inside edge. We've seen some giant trevally swim along this edge. We're just walking and every now and then just bombing in a blind cast. Every now and then we see some fish coming over. So they're the fish that we want to target because they offer the best side fishing opportunity. So that's really exciting and it's so great to be here. So Carla caught this little uh, Picasso triggerfish. Um, it ate like a little spawning shrimp and the cool thing is all these different colors have different textures. It's such a beautiful fish. There's a trigger and it's one of the trigger fish species you can catch on the flats here. Epic man, that's Carla's biggest fish of the trip. Yeah, that's it, that's it Carla. <laughs> seen any fish um, that are like noteworthy or worth mentioning we've seen a couple of tails in this flat section we're just waiting for the tide to push so we're just working these shallow areas to see what small species we can find and um, as we're doing that we pick up a couple of interesting fish and we're just prospecting with a little spawning shrimp just stripping it over this little reef section While we were busy just looking for a little reef species action, I caught this, I hooked this little snapper on a small spawning shrimp or a little crazy charlie pattern. It's actually not a snapper, it looks like it's part of the emperor family. Oh, a snapper. Yeah. Oh. On the board, buddy. Yeah. Just a juby. A small little fish. Can I go? Yeah. There he goes. I was working this heavy surf zone with a big tan and white semper. We caught this little bluefin. We were looking for jeets. But these fish are, they might look, seem small, but they fit that whole thing in their mouth. It's actually gone out already. How cool are those colors? It's a bluefin trevally. How was it, buddy? It wasn't easy. Is it? I won't lie, yeah. But we did get some fish. Everybody thinks it's easy. Everybody thinks it's easy, but it's not easy. You gotta, you gotta work. You gotta walk. You gotta work. You gotta throw your arm off. Yeah. You're not keen to work. You're one of those oaks. No, I want the cheats to just come and just come and chill there by the boat. Yeah. And I'll just flick a fly in his face. But no, you gotta, you gotta walk out there, stand on the edge of the reef, and get smashed by waves. Smashed. <laughs> And that's the end of our first day here in the Maldives. We had an epic day. Although we didn't see a lot of jeets or catch any, at least we got those couple of bluefin and that needle scale queenfish. A couple of species that are always awesome to catch on fly. Just to give you a quick rundown of the gear that we were using, I was using the 10 weight Snowby Prestige GXS saltwater rod. It's a brand new rod in their lineup and it's surely a great rod. I was also using an eight weight Snowby Spectre RMX saltwater rod, which is awesome. We're off to a brand new atoll tomorrow, so please tune in for our next episode in the Maldives. <laughs>